Keep Auckland. In. The Radio Whammo Breakfast. Now on. The Radio Whammo Breakfast. Game Junkie, Gerard Campbell. Chilling. It's chilling. You got strings, and then you've got something sinister coming on in. What is it? Well, it's Bioshock 2. Gerard Campbell, our game junkie, is along to tell us all about it. Game junkie at stuff.co.nz and on Twitter, game junkie nz. G'day, there, Gerard. G'day, Wemo. How are you? Very, very well, thank you. Now, Bioshock 2. It's a name that I've heard. Um, a wee while um, now for the part, well for the, for the better part of this year so far the last couple of months but I know nothing yeah. about it so I'm really intrigued. Well, um, Bioshock Two is the sequel to, of course, uh, the original Bioshock, uh, which I think came out in uh, either late 2007 or 2008. My memory's failing me at that stage, but it was, um, you know, it got a lot of um, Game of the Year awards and a lot of high praise because it was. Um, it was set in a an underwater utopia called Rapture. There was a, you know, I guess you could say it was almost like a mad scientist called Andrew Ryan who wanted to build this city under the sea, and it, you know, it was going to be perfect and it was going to be a brilliant place. Um, but unfortunately, there were um, like a drug or a, a, a chemical called Eve, um, and the inhabitants took it, and then they go, went slowly mad, and then there was a civil war, so the whole city disintegrated. Mm. Um, and and the one of the big highlights of the original Bioshock was as the player, you know, you were a, um, in the original Bioshock, you were a player who was in a plane, and the plane crashed um, conveniently in the sea above where Rapture was, so you had to jump into this little, this little sphere bubble thing, and you got travelled down to uh, Rapture, and you had to um, work your way through and try and find um, Andrew Ryan, that sort of thing. Um, but you came across these things called Big Daddies, and we saw a bit of it in the trailer here. Big Daddies are like uh, big behemoths, you know, they wear the old deep sea diving suit, you know, the big lead boots and the big helmets, and they have um, have a big drill on their uh, arm. Kind of like the, yeah, the, 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 the 20,000 20, leagues or whatever it was under the sea. Yeah, very much Jules, so. Jules Verne. Yes, very much so. That same sort of. Um, you know, atmosphere. So now for Bioshock 2, which is set 10 years after the original Bioshock, you actually play the very first Big Daddy, Mr. Bubbles. Um, he's, and there he is, you can just see him there, and he was considered, he's sort of the Delta model, which was the very first model Big Daddy. So he's, um, and in both, you're going to come across other Big Daddy. Um, Delta was the very first. Smaller uh, um, and stuff that's in the big decks because they've refined over the years in Rapture. But um, it's not Jogger, but, 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 but um, you know, Rapture's was 10 years since the last game. It's in a real state of the case. So, you know, there's a lot more water pouring into the um, environments and, and the inhabitants using the Eve. They're sort of really more deformed and drug addled than they were. Um, and there's a new um, woman in charge now called Sophia Lamb. And you have to try and find these little girls called little sisters who um, go around collecting a, a thing called Adam from all the dead bodies, and that mm. can be used to, um, you know, give you powers and those sorts of things. So it's a real sort of, I guess, it's a bit of a bit of a mystery there. But it's, um, you know, it's a, as you can see, it's a first person view and it's full on combat. You know, and the one of the really highlights, I think, one of the changes that they've done this time is that in the first game you could either use um, you could only either use your weapon or something called a plasmid, which is like um, we saw from the trailer there. You know, you can fire flame out of your um, left hand, or you can fire electric shock into water, or you know, and you can use the flame to set 
pools of oil alight so that can burden inhabitants. But in the first game, you can only do either or. Mm. Um, in Bioshock 2, you can actually fire them simultaneously, if you like. So, you know, in effect, you could, if you had several enemies around you, you could um, fire an incinerate plasmid on two of them, you know, to your left, and you could drill the other one, or you could, um, you know, you can pick up pistols and machine guns and grenade launchers and those sorts of things. So, in terms of the combat, that's involved a wee bit. Um, and it's, but it's still very much the. If you've played the first Bioshock, you know you still get a feel that this is Rapture. This is the underwater city that you um, got familiar with in the first game, you know. Um, and I guess ultimately, you know, it probably won't have the same impact on you this time around as Rapture did the first time, you know, because although you're visiting locations that you haven't seen before, um, you know, it's still got the familiarity about it. So, um, you know, whereas in the first game, you know there was a bit of war at, you know, wow, here's this underwater utopia, you know, and this, and this this city, you know, I don't think it'll have that same impact this time round, but playing as a big daddy certainly does bring a new dimension into it. Um, and also you are going to come across a UFO this time, you're going to come across something called a, a big sister, which is essentially a female version of the big daddy. Mm. Uh, and she's a lot more agile and a lot more aggressive too than... Um, some of the other big daddies so you've got to deal with her you know and the thing with the big daddies is that the big daddies won't attack you until they until you attack them so for some missions you're going to have to um use something that we call there's something called trap rivets which are rivets that almost aren't they've got a beam that comes out of them so they only explode when something walks over them so you sometimes you've got to set up you know a perimeter around a big daddy if you need to grab a little sister or grab something from the area and then because as soon as you start throwing on a big daddy, he's going to come after you. So you have to sort of set the scene. Um, so, yeah, I mean, the single player is, um, if you're familiar with the first game, you know, you're going to feel really comfortable with the controls. But the big the big difference gameplay-wise with Bioshock 2, can be, the first one is Bioshock 2 now has a multiplayer mode. Ah, okay. Uh, mm. Yeah, which the first one didn't. And I sort of thought initially when I first heard about it, I thought, you know, how will it work? How will a multiplayer work? You know, because everybody wants to be a big daddy or they want to be uh, whatever, but it actually works really well. And, you know, it's a fast, frantic, um, fast-paced multiplayer. And what it is is that the multiplayer uh, takes place in, I guess, the years in the lead-up before Rapture went into decay. So, you know, the multiplayer is where you're taking on other inhabitants from Rapture, you know, and there's still big daddies wandering around. But, you know, it's the, you're playing characters and it sort of leads into how the city decayed and how it fell. So it's actually really well done. You know, you can use your plasmids and you can use your weapons. Um, so I was really pleasantly surprised at how well um, the multiplayer worked because I initially thought, well, I wasn't really sure how it would work really or really it was necessary. But yeah. no, the multiplayer, I think, the multiplayer, I think, is going to be um, the highlight for people, you know, they'll, they'll, people probably enjoy the most single player, but they'll probably think afterwards, well, it was a good single player, but, um, you know, perhaps it wasn't that much different from the original game, but I think that uh, with the strong multiplayer, that's going to be the, you know, as a lot of games these days that have single player components and the multiplayer components, that is going to be a real big hook for it. It seems to be the trend now these days that, yeah, that um, people might get into the game via the single player, but they'll stay with the game much longer than what they normally would have um, with, 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 with the multiplayer. Yeah, I think so, because um, I think for some games, if the single player only has, you know, um, a single, perhaps, ending, so, you know, you there is only one end result, you know, that could really limit your replayability. So I think the great thing about having multiplayer is that, you know, and as you know, Ammo, that, you know, once people start enjoying something in multiplayer, you know, and you get more practice and you get more used to things, you know, you're actually going to get hooked because you pl- you've got that human fact, you know, you're playing against real people, so it's not as predictable as mm. uh, as a single player. You know, and I have to say that, that with the single player um, component here, that the AI, the artificial intelligence for the inhabitants, which are called splices, is, you know, it's a lot better than the first game, you know, and, it's, and there are still points that I was inching around you know, inch by inch around the corner because you could hear a voice around the corner or you could hear, you know, I've had, you know, enemies that would follow you into a room and that sort of thing, so that's really well. But no, I think that, um, you know, some games 
don't suit a multiplayer mode, you know, in some games maybe put it on just because it's a tech on and because they feel they have to. But I think that with uh, Bioshock 2 that the multiplayer actually works really well um, and it will be, you know, a strong hook for people to um, keep playing it, at least, you know, up to you get to your level cap sort of thing. Sounds really spooky as well. Uh, spooky. Bi- Bioshock 2 is the is the name of the game. What? How many different platforms? There's a few, isn't there? Uh, it's on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, and Windows PC. And it is on Windows as well. Hmm. And it is on Windows as well, yes. So it's the full field of those. Um, Excellent. All right, if, if people want to, um, to discuss it more with you, they can. They can do that on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash gamejunkienz, and also up at the blog at stuff.co.nz. Indeed. Jared Campbell, thanks very much. No problem. Thanks very much.